The Shoeless Joe Glove. I get a ton of requests for these and they seem to be really popular. I talked to the guys from JustGloves.com. They said it's like one of their best sellers. So we finally get to review one. If you didn't know, they're literally designed and meant to look like older gloves. And so the big thing is, is if they look like older gloves, are they gonna perform well? Because the reason gloves don't look like that anymore is because gloves have gotten better. The glove costs $230, so we gotta find out if it's worth it. As you can see, it's got the same leather throughout the entire glove. The Shoeless Joe gloves almost all look exactly like this, just, you know, different web, or it's a catcher's mitt, a first base mitt. This one's 11 and a half inches, and it's got eye web but a little bit of a goofy thing down here it's almost like a modified eye web can the shoeless joe keep up with today's modern gloves let's go break it in and find out we just spent like five minutes breaking this glove in and so far my reaction is that it is far worse than i was expecting <laughs> like i i had hope for this glove you guys i mean there's a lot of people out there i get a lot of comments saying like oh i love the shoeless joe please review it i got a shoeless joe and i still use it after blink many years it's so nice we already talked about how the glove is like meant to feel old and look old and everything the glove costs like 230 bucks you should be getting a nice nice glove for that price the ways in which this glove are worse or i should say different than other gloves it should be cheaper for them each glove is considered unique it doesn't have like a shape like when you buy a 1786 from wilson they all are like almost exactly the same it's because they mold them to be exactly the same so with this they're like oh we let the leather do it at once we don't shape it so that costs less for them it's easier to do the leather they're using is a cheaper leather what i'm thinking right now it seems like the people who started shoeless joe gloves are absolute geniuses because they found a cheaper way to make a baseball glove but give it like a unique look and make people buy it and sell it for the same price as all the other gloves but we have yet to actually take ground balls so let's actually go do that and see how it performs So I was actually really excited to make this video about how breaking in your glove is super important because these come, you know, kind of ugly and I was hoping that by breaking it in and shaping it, we could kind of like make it a pretty solid glove even though it started off bad. We're going traditional with this glove and the pocket is already pretty dang deep. It absolutely swallows the ball. I just can't believe how soft this glove is at. Like, I worked on this glove for like five minutes and it is incredibly soft already. But that's because it's Mexican leather and Mexican leather really isn't all that good for baseball gloves specifically. Mexican leather actually smells like super strongly. When I first got my like original 44, I kept it in my closet and like when you would open it, it would like overwhelm you. That's exactly how this thing is. When I come into my office every morning, it's like, and it's weird because it doesn't smell like your, you know, typical leather. It smells like, I almost fell over. It smells like cleaning supplies or something like that. It smells like chemicals. Because the leather stinks, there's a ton of padding throughout the whole glove. So like the fingers feel really thick. The palm is pretty thick but the heel is sort of just so-so. The heel and the palm are almost like the same thickness, which that's usually not the case. Also, another quick side note, the finger pad on this glove, if you look at it, it might look familiar. I don't even know what you'd call that, the XRD. Rawlings had that too. The problem I have is the padding that we were just talking about is really soft. It's kind of thick, but it's really soft. It's not durable. So like everything on this glove is breaking down already and we're not even taking hard reps. These are super, super casual ground balls. And wow, I mean, this glove already feels like it's been used for months. And don't even get me started on the inserts. They stink. So the thumb loop on this glove, basically it stinks. That's like the simple way to put it. It's the same exact leather everywhere. So it's already, we know that it's not very good leather. And it's like folding up within the glove. I could tighten it and I've already tried but it's not really helping. The pinky insert, on the other hand, just doesn't exist. With that being said, Ooh. it reminds me of Rawlings like two in the pinky model because it also has no pinky insert. It's just all open. That way you can just wear it two in the pinky, but I can easily fit all four fingers into the pinky on this glove. This is currently being worn four in the pinky. That feels really weird. That almost like came off my hand. I cannot stress enough how loose this leather is. It is so strong.
stretchy. All right, all right. We tried four in the pinky. Let's go two in the pinky. Whew. Yeah, so the glove, traditional, already felt so stretchy. Two in the pinky, it's just even worse. I could not in my right mind ever recommend somebody to buy this glove. Now, I wouldn't sound so extreme if it wasn't so expensive. You know what I mean? I just can't get over it. This glove, compared to any other glove in its price range, loses every single time. Like, I get what Shoeless Joe is trying to do, right? They're trying to make this cool. It's more about like how it looks and how it feels rather than like performance. But a lot of guys out there, as kind of shown in my comments, really like the glove because of the way it feels. They like it because it performs well. They think it's a good glove, but guys, in comparison, this thing stinks. So for you dads out there who are like, I need a glove to play catch with with my son and I think this looks so cool, that is a great option. You'll like it. It's probably gonna be comfortable for you. Anybody who takes baseball seriously, do not get a Shoeless Joe glove. That's what I'm gonna say. Just flat out, don't do it. Nothing about it is good. It's kind of all bad. 